This is one of a series of short talks on Brexit and relates to labelling requirements of CE stroke UKCA marked products. But first, before we get into detail, as always, let's make it clear what we're not talking about. This discussion is not for food, agricultural products, marine equipment, medical devices, road vehicles, chemicals, medicines, rail, transportable pressure equipment, construction products, or civil explosion products. All these have other specific requirements and are not discussed. This advice is just for organisations in Great Britain and not the UK as a whole. That is, not for Northern Ireland or the Northern Ireland market. One frequent common question relates to the CE marking plate attached to equipment and whether separate plates are needed for the EU and the UK markets. There is no reason why common, common marking label cannot be used. Indeed, this is by far the most common solution used by manufacturers that market products in different parts of the world. It is usual to see CE marking alongside UL, C CSA, CCC or other labelling on products. The good news is that following a new GB marking system would simply result in the addition of the UKCA mark as well as any other marks. Present GB guidance also states that until the 1st of January 2023, the UKCA mark need not be permanently fixed. So for example, it could be just a sticker. Until then, it won't have to be fixed to the machinery. It could also just be a company documentation, e.g. the instruction book. Other information, however, may also be needed. For all marked equipment, apart from machinery, both the EU and the GB systems require contact details of any importer to be attached, wherever practical, to the product, and if not practical, instead, to be on the packaging. The contact details would naturally be in Great Britain for products intended for GB, and in the EU for products intended for the EU. It can be surmised that if the manufacturer's address, which should also be on the product, is in one of these locations, then an importer's address is not needed. Possibly a manufacturer may have an address in both areas, and if both addresses are shown, no important information is required for either. The purpose is simply to have a responsible body located inside that authority, so it can be contacted by the authorities if ever needed for legal compliance purposes.